Hello my lovely angels. Today I wanted to share the perfumes I took with me for vacation. I'm going to share a bit of clips from our vacation and uh, it wasn't too long but we did visit uh, Maldives for the first time and it was beautiful. It was like really nice, it was really pleasant and it was really something we needed because we literally traveled after three years. Uh, after Covid hit we didn't travel and we were just being very uh, precautious and um, I think it's now time to let go and start moving around the world and not live in fear and we had a splendid time <laughs> I'm gonna share some clips and then I'm gonna share some perfumes uh, you can skip uh, the clips of uh, Maldives if you would like and just jump on to uh, the perfumes and I'm gonna list the timestamps below so you can do that so we decided to use Wiz Air from Abu Dhabi and that was probably the biggest mistake of our life but then we did get to see fairy world from up top and that was pretty cool. We reached the island really late at night so it was just the next morning when we could actually go and explore the island. It had beautiful beach villas and then this was the way heading towards a water villa. It looked scary like initially but then uh, that's because I had spotted some sharks earlier. <laughs> and then you have these beautiful water villas. This room was our home for a few days and this was the best part. The view, oh my word, you're in the middle of the ocean. It's kind of scary but cool as well. The washroom was a little cute but the bathtub was like super weird. I mean, what the hell is that? When you exit the bathroom, you see this. And this is where I lived for the next five days. <laughs> then I spotted a merman. And the merman freaked out when he saw a reef shark, but I had fun watching him. And then I just sat there contemplating life and wondering if I can retire and live here forever. So that was me. Since I saw sharks, I did not want to go anywhere, just dip my feet in the water. And then I saw these sharks again and there were so many of them when we went for dinner and they were like about four to five feet long. Then it rained that night. I enjoyed it because we come from a desert so rain has always worked. The next morning it was so peaceful and quiet because I think all the fishes and sharks got scared and left the island <laughs> and went into the deep. I was more comfortable roaming around the island then and I nearly bumped my head over there and I thought I was looking cute and all but I'm just plain looking weird and then I just asked Ali to stop Ali got bored of me and he was like stop it, stop filming me and then he went to sleep this is what he did like for the next 5 days he was just filming me and sleeping <laughs> then we went for a spa date and it was cute and then there's, that, there's the weird tub again and we had a couple of massage, which was pretty decent. So Ali, did you find any dolphins? Yeah, so many. <laughs> Why are you lying? That's we did. Over here. We did see a slipper though. <laughs> a single slipper. I wonder how it got there. At the person who's just roaming around right now with one slipper. <laughs> So I thought that was a sock, but it turned out to be a sea cucumber. <laughs> These yellow guys were like everywhere. And there's another one. Bro, this was right next to our villa. These guys were having the time of their life. I don't know if they were playing catch and seek or if they were fornicating, but whatever it was, it looked like they were having fun. <laughs> this definitely was a little spooky. And there was a random swing over there. <laughs> So we decided to explore the island and they grew everything in-house. Everything that they were serving us was organic, that was pretty cool. And then I saw a banana and I totally lost my mind because I was like, that's something you do not see every day in a grocery store. <laughs> okay. I saw some really interesting fish out there, like this needlefish. I mean, what even, how is the anatomy? 
and then we saw a lot of tuna they were like everywhere and then more yellow guys they were cute right this is something you see in an aquarium Being a Cancer Zodiac myself, I could totally relate to these guys. They were literally like, get out of my face, leave us alone. Especially this one freaky guy over here, watch. <laughs> okay, okay, so I know this is like super corny, but then I made Ali buy a heart for us because the island was covered in these little hearts and then we made our own semali oh this guy was stalking me i would see this dude everywhere whoa whoa this is the shark point although it was called the surface point i would call it the shark point there were sharks everywhere who with us who goes over here and serves dude but it was beautiful to sit over there. There was a pizza joint over here and we were just having pizzas and... This is the time lapse I did to capture the sunset since we were in a sunset villa. Look how gorgeous. Then it gets super dark super fast and it starts looking freaky as hell. And then we left the beautiful island. First of all, I took two perfumes, both from Roberta Cavalli. Uh, this is from their Paradiso range. One is uh, the original Paradiso, and then you have the Gemadi Paradiso. So let's first start with Roberta Cavalli's Paradiso. First and foremost, I love the bottles. It, they're like little, literally like a piece of art. It's so gorgeous. They look so expensive. So this is your floral woody musk. And you get hit by white florals and citrus right off the bat. It's a fresh perfume. This was launched in uh, 2015 and it is compared to Libre by uh, Biasa. But guys, Libre is like completely different. And in the entire trip, this is the perfume I wore the most because I was gravitating towards this. Uh, instantly, it makes me feel relaxed. And I think this will forever be associated with uh, Maldives memories now. And every time I spray it, I'll just get relaxed because like, <laughs> this is like, when I smell it, I'm like, okay, Maldives. This is also very jasmine heavy. So if you're not a jasmine lover, you won't enjoy this perfume because this is definitely jasmine forward. And... But it's a citrus and jasmine together, so it's not like the indolic jasmine. And the dry down like starts being woody after like an hour or so, so you still have the florals. And you do have like a hint of citrus, but then it like just becomes like this piney woody. And when I say piney, it's not the, you know, the pine thingy you put in the car, the car fragrance car thingy. <laughs> it doesn't smell like that. This is like the pine pine, you know, it's like very nice. It's beautiful. I'm gonna go to the next one real quick because I don't want to take too long since people are complaining that I speak too much. So, okay. so the next one is Gemma di Paradiso. And this is your gourmand version of the original Cavalli. I really like this ombre thingy going on in this. And then it has that serpent, the, oop, don't use the middle finger. Uh, the serpent thingy, which is like very trademark. Roberto Cavalli, isn't it? This like is definitely an amber floral. You can smell the amber. Like even though it is in the base notes, you can still smell the amber immediately. This was launched in 2018 and it is compared to uh, Good Girl. It doesn't smell like Good Girl at all. I don't know. No way. This doesn't smell like Good Girl at all. And they also compare it to I Want You by Jimmy Choo and yes it is in the same dna but again it's it's not a dupe it doesn't smell like that it's just it, it had it's the same dna i love this perfume so much what i don't understand is why they decided to discontinue this this beautiful perfume i don't know there's so many perfumes i love and they just discontinued it and it is so difficult to find this one and i think that's why i'm being a little stingy when i use this i just realized i forgot to say the notes for paradise <laughs> as for Gemma, uh it has pear and mandarin orange in the opening 
But the pear is like a creamy pear, like a very ripe pear. Uh, the middle notes are jasmine and floral notes and the base notes are vanilla, precious woods and amber. I don't know what the precious woods are but this is definitely woody. It's very vanillic and very ambery. So it is, for me, the, the pear and mandarin orange are there but like the mandarin orange is there literally for like, for me it's just there for like a 30 seconds or so and then it's gone. And then it's just this creamy pear with jasmine and the white florals and then you have your vanilla and amber. It's a very unique perfume for sure it is not something i've smelled before and if you like the dna of uh, i want you you will definitely like this one like my husband absolutely loves this perfume on me and i don't see how like people dislike this perfume maybe they were expecting because it's from the paradiso range they were like expecting like a tropical perfume or something but this is like your your vacation perfume but you wear it uh, during sundown you know the scent for me is a good eight out of ten the sillage is like at least seven feet and the longevity is six to eight hours. Now, if it's too hot, it will disappear and you will be left behind with the vanilla and amber. And that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted the base of vanilla and amber to be on my skin. And this gives that. Next is, of course, <laughs> I told you guys I'm going to take this uh, for the vacation because this is your ultimate um, tropical scent. It's your Herba Pura, but a more tame Herba Pura. It starts like with like a lot of fruits. This is by the house of Rasasi and this is your fruity floral. This for me is the ultimate perfume you take to any vacation. The top notes for this is mandarin, orange, grapefruit and lemon. Uh, the middle notes are passion fruit, white flowers, pear, peach and coconut. Like, and the base notes are vanilla, tonka bean and amber. By the way, vanilla, tonka bean and amber is like my favorite base note. And if there's a little sandalwood also, I love it. So I'll give this a 10 out of 10. This perfume for me is like an absolute 10 out of 10. I could give it more score if I could, if it was mathematically possible. The sillage is 8 feet and the longevity is like the whole day. Okay, not whole day. Let's give it 12 hours and then you'll have your base notes lingering on like for the rest of till you like actually take your clothes to the laundry and get it washed. The next one is by Oscar de la Renta. This is Bella Rossa and this is like a floral perfume I wanted to take with me just to get like a little break from the tropical scents and mostly to wear it like for my dates with Ali like when we have dinner together or if we are having a romantic time on the on the on the on the pier or something like I wanted to have a perfume that's like a little floral and little feminine. This is your sheep, sheep floral. So it has like some woodiness, little bit of uh, your citrus, and then it's like florals. This is your uh, flower bomb by Victor and Rolf, but with less patchouli. Like I am not fond of Victor and Rolf uh, flower bomb at all. I might buy like a little 30 ml just to keep it in my collection, but like this for me is like what Victor and Rolf should have been. Right in the beginning, okay, I got it right now. Right in the beginning, you have the pink pepper. And I think that's what adds that little mystery and that little break from all the sweetness and everything. And that makes this perfume like absolutely perfect and intriguing. The top notes for Bella Rosa are pink pepper, freesia, mandarin orange. Middle notes are pink rose, jasmine and orris. Orris is the, what's giving it that slightly powdery, but it's not like heavy on powder. Base notes are patchouli, amber and sandalwood, but it is not like the heavy patchouli, like I said before. Perfect, perfect scent. Now the next one was an obvious choice for me to take to a tropical vacation and that's your Kenzo World Power. From that entire range, this was like the last flanker they released and then they discontinued it, but you still get it, like it's still available in the market. And for me, this is your by the beach perfume because this is like the first time I smelled a salty perfume and I was like what is this salt note or this ocean note you know and I get it and I get why people love it so much and I think if I'm if I'm not mistaken the notes also was like very simple they were like literally three notes if I'm not mistaken let me check yep so the top note is cypress middle note is sea salt and the base note is tonka bean I'm sure there are more uh, ingredients in this but they just don't want to disclose it and i understand but then you guys discontinue this perfume kenzo what are you doing man like just keep this perfume i mean like maybe advertise it better or something i don't know like if people get to know about this perfume it looks like the evil eye 
thingy. Mm. In the Middle Eastern culture, like it's it's like pretty big, the evil eye thingy. Uh, it, they call it a woody aromatic. This was released in 2019 and it's compared to Olympia and I think it's compared to Olympia just because Olympia has a solar note and this has like a salt note. They're similar but not the same. Like Olympia, it's like a different perfume. I like that perfume as well but this one is one up for me because I feel this is stronger than your Olympia. Can you imagine a perfume being salty and creamy at the same time? <laughs> no, right? <laughs> this one. Like try it like in a, in a perfume shop if you find it. Or else order a decant and then like I'm telling you, you guys are gonna love this perfume. For me, this scent is a good 9 out of 10. The projection I would say 4 to 5 feet. It's not too much because it's a very simple perfume. And um, let's say the longevity would be 6 to 7 hours. I have two more but I specifically took these two for layering purposes. One is your uh, vanilla bourbon by mix bar and then your choco mask by al rehab and i don't want to like waste time by describing it it, it is vanilla bourbon it like smells just like vanilla bourbon and i feel like oh my god so boozy it settles down to a very nice vanilla bean tonka bean kind of scent let me, let me tell you the notes real quick because i don't want to talk about this too much by the way this perfume is not available where I'm from like in Dubai we don't have the mixed bar perfumes so I ordered it from US so whenever my sister visits I have a long list of perfumes I ask her to get me and this was one of them the top notes are black pepper and bergamot it's not there <laughs> middle note is jasmine vanilla orchid apple blossom vanilla is there jasmine apple blossom no and the base note is Madagascar vanilla sandalwood and amber and I get it but I don't know why I feel like there's some tonka as well in this. But for me, it's like, forget about the whole, you know, the notes and everything. This is for me just like a layering perfume if I want to add some interesting vanilla to a perfume. And the second one is Choco Musk by Al Rehab. This is like straight up chocolate. By the way, I had to let it macerate for quite some time. The color changed as well. Like initially it was like transparent, like really like light yellow. And now it's dark and now I can actually smell the chocolate. Initially when I sprayed it, I was like, <clears throat> because it was like alcohol galore, you know. So the notes for this is vanilla, milk chocolate, white musk, cinnamon, spicy notes, amber, sandalwood, myrrh and rose. I'm telling you, they lie. <laughs> They're such liars. Oh my God. I don't know. I can't smell the spices. I just smell chocolate vanilla. Maybe the musk, but like there's nothing else. And it is little synthetic. This one, like the projection for both of these actually, because for me, these are layering perfumes and I don't care how long they last. They just add that little uh, wow factor to your perfumes. They both probably have like, um, like four feet and the lasting power is probably four hours as well. Not more than that, but it's a base note. So it stays as a base note. And like literally this one is like the vanilla is going to stay and then there's the chocolate's going to stay. So if you want to add that to your perfume, Thank you for everyone who's been supporting me, especially my special friend, friend from uh, Wisconsin. I think you know who you are <laughs> and I really love you and I wish I could also meet you because we have so much in common and I just feel like we would vibe, like we would totally vibe together and like please if you ever come to Dubai, you will be my guest, alright? So like, come to Dubai. <laughs> alright guys, see you next time and um, stay happy, stay blessed, spread love and smell good. <laughs> Bye!